Good blessings, good blessings, my brothers and sisters in this truth. All praises to the Most High. Through our Savior's name, let's get our swords out the mud. My brothers and sisters, let's get into some clarity and some comprehension on Abraham and his wife, and his wife being his sister. All right. Which I can do, and therefore, there you get the literal meaning of sister wife, right? All right, brothers and sisters, let's get into the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 10. The book of Genesis, chapter 12, verse 10, and this is after the Most High has told Abram to get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you, right? So, this is after that. Verse 10, now there was a famine in the land and Abram went down to Egypt to dwell there for the famine was severe in the land and it came to pass when he was close to entering Egypt that he said to Sarai's wife, indeed, I know that you are a woman of beautiful countenance. Therefore, it will happen when the Egyptians see you that they will say, this is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will let you live. You know, that was, that was, that was, that was the, uh, the outlook of you being a husband and, and of a wife. And and if 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 someone comes along you dig your wife getting getting not just getting snatched from you, they just gonna kill you. And then let your wife live and take your wife. These are the customs. These were the customs that were that needed to hear the truth per se. You dig? But these were the customs of um I would say foreigners. Comprehend what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. Those who weren't close to the most high. You see. The the nations that weren't chosen. Because The most high. There's a universal law for all. But then that mo the most high has had had a chosen people. Chosen mean uh, 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 people that he loved. And he loved these people, but these people had a responsibility and that is to show his glory. What's the saying is? With great power comes great responsibility. So we was trusted to do a job, per se. And that's to be a light to the nations. All right? Because these other nations was, you know, they, 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 let's say, let's say they had, they had, a, they had a piece of the plan. They just didn't have the whole plan. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, back to this read. Back to this read. Now we have here, though. But, but before we get back to the read. This is this part right here, brothers and sisters, is what is what you, 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 you what well, ain't this part is every part in the most high's word is that you be patient with, diligent with, and overly comprehend. Because um Abram
is giving almost a is is giving the impression that almost giving that Sarah is not his that uh Sarah is not his sister and that uh she that she is his wife right and it came to pass when he was close to enter in Egypt that he said to Sarai's wife, Indeed, I know that you are a beautiful woman of countenance. Therefore, it will happen when the Egyptians see you that they will say this is his wife. So clearly, it's, it's not giving you the, the, the separation or the, um, the um, clarity that one would like. You know, so... Therefore, we have to dig deeper. We have to dig deeper, my brothers and sisters. Because right here does not indicate that Sarah is his real sister. It's indicating that Abraham is telling his wife to be his sister. So that Abraham can be spared from, uh, from the Egyptians when they see his wife, because how, the uh, how beautiful she is. That if they wouldn't take her and kill him, all right. So there you go, your your wisest serpents, brothers and sisters. Abram is being wise as serpents. Now, brothers and sisters, let's get to uh, Genesis. Chapter 20, Genesis chapter 20, verse 1. And Abraham, now this is when after the Most High has changed Ab Abram's name to Abraham, okay? And, Sarai, and Sarai's name to Sarah, all right? Genesis chapter 20, verse 1, just for the touch up, just for clarity. Once again, Genesis chapter 20. 20 verse 1 and Abraham journeyed from there to the south and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur and stayed in Gerar now Abraham said of Sarah his wife she is my sister and Amalek king of Gerar sent and took Sarah but the most high came to Amalek in the in a dream by night let me run that back verse 3 but the most high came to Amalek in a dream by night so when Amalek is sleeping in his dream the most high came to him and said to him so it's the most high saying to Amalek, he's speaking to Amalek right now. Amalek is asleep in his dream. And during his dream, the Most High is saying to Amalek, Indeed, you are a dead man because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is a man's wife. So the Most High. Is speaking to Amalek in, in Amalek's dream at nighttime. Say, Amalek, you a dead man because the woman whom you have taken, she is a man's wife. Okay. And whose wife is she? She's Abraham's. Verse 4. But Amalek had not come near her. So Amalek didn't have any sexual relations. Abraham's wife Sarah and he said Most High will you slay a righteous nation also did he not say to me she is my sister and she even herself said he is my brother in the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands I have done this So, Emelech saying to the Most High, you know, hey, I, you know, 
Will you not slay a righteous nation? Also, mean I, I was I was observing your order not to take another man's wife, right? Not to take another man's wife. So if I'm not taking another man's wife, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So how, why am I a dead man? I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know that this was a man. I didn't know that this this wife, that this woman was a man that was married to someone else. You know, I wasn't being. You know, he's being out of the. In the integrity of my heart and the innocence of my hands, I have done this. So he's so Amalek saying to the Most High, you know, hey, I didn't know. Honestly, I didn't know. This woman said that this was her brother, as it says, he is my brother. Even and she, even she herself said, he is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands, I have done this. So this is Amalek speaking to the Most High in his dream. And the Most High said to him in a dream, Yes, I know that you did this in the integrity of your heart. For I also withheld you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not let you touch her. So the Most High intervened and said, I'm not going to let you touch her. I'm not going to let you sin against me. Can we comprehend? You see? Well, Amalek's saying, hey, I, he, you know, Amalek's tripping like, hey, I didn't, you know, rightfully so. Amalek's tripping like, you know, hey, don't kill me. I didn't know most high. I didn't know who this woman is. And the most, you know, I didn't sleep with her. I didn't. So the most high's like, hey, I know you didn't know. So because of you, you know, Have an integrity in not taking another man's wife. I'm going to intervene and not let you lay with this woman. That's how much I love you. Huh? So I'm going to keep you from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not let you touch her. Verse 7. Now, therefore, restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet. And this is speaking of Abraham, Abraham the prophet. So the Most High is telling Amalek to restore the man's wife, meaning give, give her back. Give Sarah back to Abraham. Right? And he, and he will pray for you. And you shall live. But if you do not restore her, no. That you shall surely die, you and all who are yours. So the most high saying it, if you don't bring her back, if you don't listen to my word, if you don't if you don't give her back, if you don't restore her, know that you will know that you shall surely die, you and all who are yours. You gonna die and all your peoples. So Amalek rose early. You know, Amalek probably didn't even sleep. You heard me. Amalek rose up early. You heard me. Look, he didn't even sleep. You did. He, he, rose, he rose up early. Rose up early in the morning. Called all his servants and told all these things in their hearing. And the men were very much afraid. And Amalek called Abraham and said to him, What have you, what have you done to us? So Amalek called Abraham as Amalek had already talked to his servants and told them, you know, what had happened in his dream. You know, Amalek called Abraham and said to him, what have you done to us? How have I offended you that you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? You have done deeds to me that ought not to be done. So Amalek said, man, what I do to you, bro? What? Why you set me up for this? You set me up, partner. I thought it was love, bro. You, why you, what's up? 
Why would you do me like this? Right? You set me up stone cold. Right? This what this this is what Amalek is pretty much saying to Abraham. Verse 10. Then Amalek said to Abraham, What did you have in view that you have done this thing? So Abraham, Amalek said to Abraham, What have you man, what was you thinking? What did you have in view? That what was you seeing? What what was you thinking that you have done this thing? Verse eleven. And Abraham said, "Because I thought, surely, the fear of the Most High is not in this place, and they will kill me on account of my wife. But indeed, she is truly my sister. Huh? So." Because Abraham thought, surely the fear of the Most High is not in this place, and that y'all was going to kill me on account of my wife. So that's why I told you she was my sister, so that you wouldn't kill me. But indeed, she is truly my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And she became my wife. And it came to pass when the Most High calls me to wander from my father's house that I said to her, this is, this is your kindness that you should do for me in every place, wherever we go, say of me, he is my brother. Then Amalek took sheep, oxen, and male and female servants and gave them to Abraham, and he restored Sarah, his wife, to him. And Amalek said, see, my land is before you. Dwell where it pleases you. Then to Sarah he said, Behold, I have given. Verse 16. Then to Sarah he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Notice he says to Sarah. Amalek says to Sarah. Then to Sarah he said, He is Amalek. Behold, I have given your brother. He didn't say, I've given your husband. A thousand pieces of silver. You feel me? It wasn't like, man, because look, I didn't even know. I didn't really know that that was your, that I didn't know that that was your husband. You feel me? You feel me? So we just going to keep it like I, you know, uh, when I first met you, you said it was, he was your brother. <laughs> so, hey, uh, here, I'm going to give you these pieces to your brother. Because he noticed he didn't say to, uh, to Sarah, I'm going to give these pieces to your husband. Cause that just indicates to you know, like man, what, why would you know? It just sounds, it sounds, you know, it's, it's a, it, it, it's, it, it. The reason why I'm giving you these pieces, I don't want to, I don't want to say this, is 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 uh, is because I, I'm giving them to your husband, is because I was with you, you know, I was trying to get with you, you know what I mean? So we're gonna try to, uh, uh, pretty much not gonna speak on that. We're just gonna keep it on the brother. You feel me? That's what he's that's what he's trying to because you notice once again he doesn't say husband after the most high has already told him in a dream. Keep that in mind. The most high has already told Amalek in a dream that that is a man's wife. But Amalek tells Sarah, I'm gonna get these pieces to your brother. Instead of telling Sarah, I'm gonna get these pieces to your husband. Cause it just made it made Amalek feel a certain type of way. If you comprehend what I'm saying, you know, like, uh, just put yourself in that situation. You would rather refer to the situation as, as the brother. Like, I met you as a brother, so even though I know that's your husband right now, now I know that's your husband. But look, I met, when you when you first met me, you said that I was your brother. So here, get this to your brother. Instead of saying, oh, well, here, get this to your, uh, get this to your husband. You catch you catch what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. So yeah, man. You know, it just I just wanted to throw that in there. It's just it, because it is is it, it, it you could tell it was affecting Emelec is what I'm trying to say, brothers. So it affected him. So that's why he really didn't want to say husband. It affected him. 
you know, like, man, I shouldn't even be. And it's like, if you, if, if, if you a man and, and you, you 25, you 21 and the girl look like she 18, right? She look like she over 18 and she tell you, yeah, I'm over 18, but I ain't got my ID. I ain't got my purse on me. Then you find out, the cops roll up on you. You find out, oh, she underage. You like, look, man, I didn't know. Look, straight up. That, that, I did not know that she was a young girl. You did what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. You gonna be, that you gonna be like, hey, man. This girl presented. She was, she was acting like she was older. She presented herself as older. She looked older. She looked older. She didn't have no ID on her. So I believed her. So brothers and sisters, it's a sin. Like I said, ain't nothing new. Not me, but like the moat, like the scripture says, ain't nothing new up under the sun, brothers and sisters. Ain't nothing new up under the sun. So yeah, this is just, this is the same kind of, it's the same situation. But if it took place in this day, this that would be a sim. That would be how it would kind of play out, right? So yeah, it's just the fact that you know you, you know you gonna you gonna say, hey man, she looked like a, she looked like a, uh, she looked like she was old enough. She looked like an adult. You ain't gonna say, hey, she looks like a young girl. That's why I proceeded to mess with her. That's a straight up pedophile, right? You gonna be like, man, she looked old enough. So, yeah, brothers and sisters, I just wanted to touch on that, my brothers and sisters. I wanted to touch on that, and uh, let's let's finish out this read. Verse 16, then to Sarah he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Indeed, this vindicates you before all who are with you and before everybody. Thus she was rebuked. So Abraham prayed to the Most High, and the Most High healed Amalek, his wife, and his female servants. So brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, just wanted to touch up on some of that, on some clarity and some comprehension on um, the situation. And because uh, uh, it's a lot of doctrines and misinterpretations, so therefore we must be on one accord and and and, and sharpen our swords with love. Sharpen our swords with love. Light is love, brothers and sisters. Love is light, the righteous light. My brothers and sisters. But yeah, brothers and sisters, y'all stay prayerful. You know? And, um... But indeed, she is truly my sister. We cannot say, referring back to chapter 20, verse 12 in Genesis. We gotta stay prayerful with comprehension and understanding. But indeed, she is truly my sister. She is the daughter of my father. So, Abraham didn't have to say that to Amalek. But Abraham just wanted to make sure, hey, you feel me? We're going to get the story correct. We're going to get the story correct around here. This is why in verse 13, Abraham tells Amalek, he's giving, he's giving Amalek the whole rundown, right? Verse 13, and it came to pass when the Most High caused me to wander from my father's house that I said to her, this is your kindness that you should do for me in every place, wherever we go. Say of me, he is my brother. 
So Sarah was just doing what she was told to do from her husband, which is Abraham. So Abraham was just letting Amalek know Sarah was just doing what I told her to do. So yeah, I just thought that was beautiful, brothers and sisters, you know, um, because um, once again, the Most High, if we go, if we see that the Most High told Amalek in his dream that the womb, that the woman whom you have taken, she is a man's wife. Right. So Amalek needs to comprehend everything. Feel me the most I told him what to do. But Amalek is already comprehended everything as far as hey I'm gonna give you back I'm gonna give you back your wife look I don't want these I don't I don't want these problems the most high mean what he says I ain't looking for that destruction of me or everything that I that is mine right so Amalek was already gonna give Sarah back Amalek was already gonna give Sarah back to Abraham brothers and sisters Amalek rose up early so then when Amalek called to Abraham you know he's asking you know why have you done these right but Amalek you know the most had already told Amalek what he was going to do so Amalek was already going to release Sarah my brothers and sisters so it was just a matter of fact. Let's get the story correct on the point of Abraham. Like, hey, you know, the reason why she told you this is because I told her to do that. And the reason why I told her to do that was because of this. Right? So that's, that's, that was the clarity that Amalek had gotten from Abraham and we must have the same clarity Abraham was not lying uh, that was his sister who became his wife my brothers and sisters she is the daughter of my father but not the daughter of my of my mother and she became my wife Genesis chapter 20 verse 12 so yes brothers and sisters Abraham is not deceitful you know he uh he, he just uh he was being wise as serpents but is also Lacking faith a little bit. Lacking faith. Because surely the Most High was going to protect him. Surely the Most High was going to protect him. And just like when he lacked faith. Uh, when, when his wife Sarah lacked, lacked faith. And they decided to. Um, because of Sarah being barren. You know, they decided to bring forth a child from Hagar, an Egyptian. Right? An Egyptian servant of a uh, of a uh, of a uh, Sarah. Okay. So right there, which is the child, which is bringing forth a child of the flesh. Because the most high didn't tell them to do that, even though it, it was no um, uh, bad intentions behind it like similar to Amalek it was no bad intentions behind it it was just leaning on your own understanding 
similar to lot starters. Right? So, my brothers and sisters, with that, I love y'all, brothers and sisters. Y'all stay powerful and keep your laps filled with light.